next recipe. So I'm moving on to the broccoli salad. And for our purposes, can you guys see this? You can't, can you? Yeah, you can just see my elbows flying. You can't see anything else. That's sad. I'm going to move over here. I think over here you can see, can't you? Okay. All right. So I'm cutting the broccoli in kind of small pieces. And um, I, I'm not very, I can't digest raw broccoli too well. So I prefer to steam it just a little bit. Um, so I do. But I also use the, um, the stalks because I like them. And I hate throwing anything away. Um, but you just, you just slice the stalks pretty thin. If you've got a whole, um, if you have a whole stalk of broccoli, this is, these are caps, and you can just get these downstairs in the corner underneath the whole stalks of broccoli. And these are a dollar each. Um, so, um, so they don't have too, too much stock to them, but I like the stock. So um, you, if it's a long stock, you have to get the woody part off, and you do that with a vegetable peeler. Um, but then there's this great, this great um, bonus broccoli inside the stock here. And um, when I used to work in a Chinese restaurant, five years in a Chinese restaurant, um, they uh, taught me how to make the beautiful Chinese, very spicy Chinese broccoli pickle. And they use the stalks. They use everything. So you want to cut the stalks up kind of small, sort of matchstick. And these go into the steamer first. The stalks go in first. Not yet, Beth. And you can keep cutting your stalks, you know, however you want in the interest of time. Okay, the, my popper, my lid has popped up, so I'm gonna start taking it down just a little bit. Make sure that uh, the new generation of pressure cookers, like I said before, are electric. So you don't even have to worry about rocking tops like the old ones that I still do my canning in, um, or the, uh, the Fagor like this one that has a pop-up uh, little yellow thing. You can see the yellow thing above me. Um, it, it was down, but now it's popped up, and so I know that the pressure's up in the cooker, and you can start taking it, taking the temperature down. You generally you want to take the temperature um, down as low as you can before this thing goes back down. Then you loosen your pressure. So you want to keep it. You want to make sure that it's sort of like blowing a. a a uh, ping pong ball <laughs> to kind of keep it going, making sure that the pressure stays up on the pressure cooker. No big deal. Um, if it doesn't, you just have a little longer to cook it. That's all. No big deal. You know what? I don't have an electric pressure cooker, but I think you probably can. It's um, just not as much as you can with the Chicago, the big Chicago ones, you know, the big ones. You, um, and, uh, you know, I don't know how, how many people actually st still can anything other than tomatoes and jams, um, which you can actually do just in a water steamer, in a water bath. The only thing you actually use the pressure cooker, if you're going to can, is uh, low acid things like meats and, you know, beans, uh, gr green beans or whatever. This is not a real steamer. This is my colander sitting in a pot of water. Um, because our steamer actually goes, is a collapsible one. So I'm just boiling it. You know, it's just, it's just like boiling it. I don't want to boil it. I want to steam it. So I'm using my colander in a big pot. I'm going to add the stock. Let that steam 
for just a couple minutes. Discard that. I think I don't even have to watch the time on this one. It's just going to be until after class. So. I always fight with the people downstairs, my prep people, on when they make the broccoli salad because they, um, they put these giant florets in the broccoli salad. And um, that's, it's hard to get one of those giant florets in a little eight ounce container, which I have to do to put up on the wall. So, you know, for, for me, I like to make them a little smaller. And just remember broccoli salad, you have to eat with friends because you're almost always going to have some in your teeth. Okay? Fair warning. Especially if you have braces. Okay, so this has been in for just a couple of minutes and now I'm going to put the broccoli in and that's going to just go for just a couple of minutes. How do you guys feel about broccoli salad? You okay with broccoli salad? Is it a fun thing? Everyone likes broccoli salad. Good. Now mine is vegetarian, so um, it, because I'm a vegetarian, um, and I don't. So, but you weren't here whenever I was t talking about these fun things. We have um, this is this recipe has raisins in it. It's a broccoli salad with raisins. And um, so you can use yogurt raisins, yogurt covered raisins, or you can use salted caramel raisins if you want to really snazz it up. And I told everybody that Gary actually opened this. I wasn't going to open it. I was just going to take it down and put it back on the shelf after I showed everybody. But he opened it and just plowed through it. Now we have to eat it. Now we get to share. Okay, and while this is working, I'm going to go ahead and make the dressing. And let me get in this. So, what I'm going to use Y'all probably don't have this size at home, but okay. So what I've got is a little bit of Dijon mustard. This is crud. I'll use this one. A little bit of Dijon. Now, as always, just go with your gut, however you, how much you like, whatever you like. And a third-ish of a cup of mayonnaise. You don't have to use the industrial size. It's just what I use. Southerners use mayonnaise and everything. I'm using the uh, Demerara sugar in this. I don't have this on the in the recipes, but this is what I'm using. Um, it's washed raw cane sugar. You can also use honey in this recipe. Um, but this is, a, this is a, a really coarse sugar. Tastes a little bit like brown sugar. It's kind of nice in the recipe. Is the same as sugar in the raw? It is the same as sugar in the raw. Mm -hmm. Yep. Different, it's called a different thing. Um, a teaspoon of or a cap full of apple cider vinegar. You can also use, which I've used to great success before, um, a uh, rice vinegar, unseasoned. 
I'm going to take the pressure cooker down to low now. So the beef gets to hang out. All right, and stir this up. The sugar in this recipe, using this sugar just adds just a little more crunch because it doesn't break down. Look how pretty and green, bright green that is. It's really nice. So, you see that? How pretty? Okay. So I'm going to take this off now. It's not even hot. But I'm going to put it in cold water. Or I'm going to run cold water over it. So it shocks it and stops it from cooking. That just hangs out for just a second. You can drop this, you can just drop this colander in a bigger bowl of ice water if you want to. But I found that just spraying it down with cold water works just as well. It's not very Martha Stewart, but I'm not Martha. You want to get as much water off as you want, as you can, because otherwise it dilutes the dressing. Now what Martha would do at this point would be dump it all on a paper towel and let it completely dry. But I'm not going to do that because I'm not Martha. And I don't really have the time tonight, but you know, you can do that. While it's still a little warm, I'm going to add the dressing. Give that a toss. Um, I also have an onion that I haven't cut yet. Dice up some red onion. I've already done it. I've already sliced it this way before I've sliced it that way. This gives a pretty fine dice. Check, always check your, um, I think I did this the last class too. Check the potency of your red onion. Um, if your red onion is too teary, uh, then you want to soak it in some water for about 10 minutes. It takes out the, it neutralizes it. It, nu it, it takes out the, um, the, the tears. So you're not crying when you're... Well, since he opened them... <laughs> okay. It kind of looks funky. The, um, that they smell divine. Um, it's everything. Now, the, the sunflower seeds I'll add to the salad right before service. Meanwhile, I 
This was made today, earlier, and I'm just going to add them both together so I can use the bowl again. Now I've got a lot of broccoli salad, which is good because we have a lot of, there's a lot of this here tonight. This is a really good recipe.